EPA to be meteorologist Bobby Marcus here with your outlook for September 30th, 2020. For this final day of September, we are looking at clouds this morning and some uh, maybe a leftover shower in a few spots very early. And that's all going to lift off to the north and east as this system pulls away. The cold front's going to move through, and we're going to become po mostly sunny today. And that should happen by the afternoon in most areas uh, today. But it will be the caveat to that is that although it's getting nicer uh, this afternoon, and the temperatures are going to be in the generally the upper 60s to near 70. So it won't be uh, too bad there either. The caveat today will be the uh, breezy conditions that we're going to find. And that's going to be most prevalent this morning as this system is going to be pulling away. So let's get over to the NAM high-res future simulated radar. And I'm going to start this off at 7 a.m. You saw some showers here. Uh, on, and this is all moving off to the north and east here at this point. And this will very quickly exit. Uh, once this gets here, once this does exit, here is the uh, winds that are going to be a little gusty this morning as it's pulling away. Uh, but that's the, those winds are going to remain uh, throughout the day, generally in the 20s to 20 to 25 mile per hour range. Could have some peak gusts a little higher than that, uh, but generally under 30 for even peak gusts today. And that's going to be primarily the morning where it will be at its highest. Once we get into the afternoon, the winds are going to be generally 20 to 25 as far as those gusts are concerned. So nothing crazy today, but we'll have a little bit of a breeze coming through with that uh, wet one in the wake of the cold front as that pulls away. And again, the... Uh, Rain's going to exit quite early here. This is going to be uh, very early in the morning that this uh, moves out. So by the time we get to about 9 o'clock or so, 9, 10 o'clock, this should be completely out of here. And then clouds are going to quickly decrease. And we're going to have mostly sunny skies followed by a clear night overnight tonight. Now, the true cool air is not quite behind this yet. We're going to have a little bit cooler. So yesterday, of course, the last couple of days, we've been well in the 70s. Some places even hit 80. Uh, we're not going to be quite that warm today, though, and of course we're going to have temperatures in the upper 60s to near 70. Going to be sticking near 70 degrees or there about maybe 72-ish down here by Philadelphia here on Thursday. But then we have another system coming in. This is going to be the lead of the actual trough coming in, and this trough is going to set us up for some cooler autumn-like temperatures behind it. But we have to get through this first. We get to get this uh, little weak system here on the lead of that trough, and it's going to give a few showers. And it's going to come on Thursday night, later at night, into Friday morning. You can see those showers popping here over uh, over our coverage area here, going into Friday morning. So another mostly sunny day here on Thursday. And again, very pleasant room temperature, basically. And then we get into uh, this system on the lead of the trough. You can see where the trough is here. Uh, even though I'm not showing the upper levels here, you can almost pick that where that's at. The trough's kind of sitting like this, and it's coming in to our region and it's going to be guided by this system as it moves through. So uh, once this moves through, again, Friday is going to start off with a few showers in the morning, and then after that point we have partial clearing in the afternoon, and cooler temperatures that are going to be straight through the weekend. We have a very fantastic weekend coming up with temperatures in the low to mid-60s across the entire region, both Saturday and Sunday. We will with uh, mostly sunny skies here on both days. And then we have another system coming in here on uh, Sunday night, so clouds are going to increase again Sunday night, late Sunday night, and most of Monday we have the opportunity for some uh, some rain coming in here. This might be a little bit more than just a few showers. Uh, before I get to that, I just wanted to show you what the NAM's doing here for uh, for late Thursday night. Just a few showers here will be across the region. These are not heavy, uh, but there could be just some lighter showers going into Friday morning, and this is uh, going to come in generally after midnight for most areas here on Monday night, in or excuse me, on uh Thursday night, we're losing days here, uh, on Thursday night into Friday morning is where these showers uh, will move through. But this is not going to be an all-day thing either. And again, clouds are going to decrease once this moves out here on Friday. So again, back to Monday, similar situation here with uh, uh, now we have an upper-level trough or upper-level low sitting out here that's going to interact with an offshore low. So we might have a little bit more rain to deal with here in the Sunday night, later Sunday night into basically all of Monday it looks like. Uh, we're going to have this rain chances, uh, rain chances go right into early Monday evening before this pulls away. And then in its wake here on Tuesday, we are back to partly cloudy skies and temperatures in the middle 60s. So uh, we're getting back into temperatures into the 60s. That's the that's the, the main takeaway of this video here. Where that's going to take a little bit um, to get the true autumn air that uh, is really pleasant, low to mid 60s, that kind of thing. That's going to be coming in on Friday behind our system on the reinforcing uh 
shortwave that's on the lead of that trough coming in here Thursday night and Friday morning. So uh, it's still nice for the next couple of days as far as temperatures are concerned and near room temperature. Uh, so you can open up the windows and uh, don't have to worry about running the air conditioning or the heat. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marcher. So that is your outlook for September 30th, 2020. Have a great Wednesday.